Hey guys, what's up? So you want to run an animation on this SSD 1306 OLED display but don't know how to? Well, let me help you out in few easy steps. Also this process is pretty long, so tight your seat belts and enjoy the ride. So first step of this process is to gather everything that we need, which are OLED display. I'm using this generic SSD 1306 LED OLED for this task. An ESP8266 based device, which is this Node MCU. Jumper wires for connection with breadboard. USB cable. LCD image converter. A GIF image, which would be this and required libraries. Those are pretty much the things that we need. We start this process by first downloading a GIF file with some simple animation. I'm choosing this GIF image because of its black background as it will look great on OLED. After downloading this GIF, open EZGIF on your browser. EZGIF is an online tool for resizing or editing images, GIF or other formats. Also, this is not sponsored by EZGIF. Also, also hit that subscribe button. Select the resize option and upload the GIF file. Now our GIF file is pretty much big. So we need to make it small for OLED resolution, which is 128 by 64 pixels. We need to put the resolution of OLED in the width and height block and resize the GIF. And now this GIF is optimized for our OLED display. But how are we gonna run it on OLED? Isn't we need to convert this into some kind of hex file? Well, we will do exactly that. But first, here's a little theory behind this animation process. What exactly is a video? Well, in simple terms, a video is a combination of many, many images that are being displayed one after another to create an illusion of movement or motion. Each image have a different movement, but by flashing them quickly, all we see is a moving image. These images are frames and we flash them or display them one after another at rate of 30 frames per second in a normal TV video that we see. This video is available in 60 FPS too, but this is a whole another topic. What we need to do is we need to split this GIF into frames and then convert each frame into a C file and then upload that code into the node MCU. Each C file code will flash in a chaser sequence creating the illusion of movement in OLED display. Basically this. Okay, so let's get back to the previous step. So in the EZ GIF, there's an option for splitting the GIF. Click on that. Select the JPEG format and download the frames. These are the frames that we get by splitting the GIF into images. This GIF is pretty long and this might get a little hard for ESP8266 to run them all. So I'm gonna copy 56 of these images and use them instead. I've made this folder for organizing everything properly as we need to convert each of these images and then input their code in the main code file. For converting them, I'm using this LCD image converter which you can download and use. I'll leave its link in the video description so you can download it from there. Now open the file menu and open the first image. This image is already optimized for the OLED display so we don't need to change anything in it. Just open the file menu and select convert option. Save the C file in a separate folder and redo this process 55 times. or just open multiple images and select convert all option in the file menu which is faster but this will still take time. 
the result will be these header files that contain image data in the hex format. We actually need this code which is the raw image data and we just need to copy paste it into the main code. Each header file get its own code. So we need to copy each image code and paste that into the main code. 56 images hex data will get pasted in this code and this will also take time. But the end result will be this long code which have more than 3000 lines. At the end of this code, we call each frame in sequence at a time delay which can then be edited into increasing or decreasing the frame rate. And that is pretty much the code. You can download this all from this project's page, which is in the video description. Now upload the code into the node MCU and bang. You have successfully uploaded an animation on an SSD 1306 OLED display. Well done. So this took roughly 45 minutes and the GIF itself is less than 7 seconds. At least it's actually working properly and the result is pretty smooth. So I'll give it a pass. Also check out this. Same kind of setup but the image is monocolored and it is being displayed on a TTGO T display board. I will post an update video about this setup soon. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other projects and stay tuned for the next video. And I'll be back.